Alright my lovers, how you doing? I'm with Steve today, he's just putting the car away and we've got the hovercraft out and we're about to take it for a little spin do some mud larking which means looking for anything old and interesting left over from the tides so without further ado, let's get some luck in the muck Alright mud lovers how you doing? Today we're out on the Hovercraft again. Hovercraft is your hunters. With myself, Si, and Steve. And Steve, you're looking forward to this one, I'm I understand? I'm looking forward to it. Right, apparently, well, there should be, because we've been here a few years ago, there should be some black glass, some stoneware, not mm. a lot of Roman, so if you're into your Roman, probably not the episode for you. <laughs> but my favourite kind of stuff to find, so. Excellent. Well, let's get out of there. Let's start stop hanging around. Let's go yep. find some treasure. <laughs> Here we are, look. Looking good. Looking good. We found our first piece of pottery. It's not what I come for. That's Victorian, isn't it? Hold it still. Oh yeah. Bit of Vicky. That's right though, we've got plenty to search. Oh, absolutely. There's plenty to search. It's a good little spot. Hopefully there's some complete pieces here. I think this is a good place to start, you know, because as the tide goes out, we can carry, we can work our way back slowly and uh, stick it in the other little places like this they might have stuff in it oh I found a bottle Simon's over there in the distance as you can see meanwhile meanwhile I like that <laughs> got quite a nice pattern on it I won't be taking it with me first find today a Polynarius bottle which is basically a German water bottle um, did a bit of damage there, but hopefully, there we go. Oh, and it's my, oh, we like that. This is what I came for, stoneware. Lovely jubbly. So, beautiful, uh, beautiful. so yeah, the handle's gone, unfortunately, but. We can, we can repair that. But you know. That look, will look good on a shelf. On the Hall of Fame, maybe. Ah. Yeah, it's got to get the mud out of that. It's actually got a name on it. It's George Cruiser or something like that. Oh, I know him well, yeah. I like that. I had a drink with him last week. <laughs> beer by any chance? Beer, yeah, beer, yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, first find down, more to come. Alright, crack on. So uh, Steve's going back to the hovercraft, he's going to leapfrog me, go in front. So we've always got eyes on the hovercraft and then we can cover a bit more ground. Plus Steve does like to use it as his mobility machine, because he doesn't like walking very much. <laughs> so, he can, so he can go along in his mobility hover and we can leapfrog each other and cover some ground. Welcome back to Steve Camp. As you can see, Simon's there in the background following me up. 
and I've just come across a tube. <laughs> yeah, I think this could be a YouTube. No idea, we'll clean it up later and then, yeah, I'm hoping it's not some sort of ordinance. <laughs> it's odd, that's what it is. Hmm. Right, yeah, well, we'll take that, clean that up, and find out what it is. So here we have a bottle, might be a good one. Oh, it feels, feels substantial. Yeah. Let's get her up. Oh, come on, here we go. Okay, it's a, it's a plain sauce. So, I probably won't take that today bit common crown top still onward <laughs> right who saw it first what the heck the hard hat Oh, you haven't seen what I've seen on the floor? Oh, I've seen that, but it's the hard hat I'm more interested in. <laughs> what the hell is a hard hat just doing laying out here? Safety first. What happens, mate, is everyone works up in London and they throw their hats in the Thames once they finish the job. Anyway, back to this. I think we spotted it at the same time, we so uh, we can take joint custody if it's complete. Although I'm not it's hoping... Oh. oh, yeah, it's a kil kilner. Marmalade. Never mind. This is an early wine bottle, you know, Victorian wine bottle, but there's nothing on it. Oh, I've got a uh, clay pigeon here, of all the things to find. <laughs> so, Steve was saying there's no Roman. He lies because we found some nice little uh, rim there. Right, I've just come across tube number two, which I think they're copper. I think they are, yeah, because they've started to go green. Um, yeah, it's got a rim on it. I mean, I don't. I haven't got a clue. I say, well, we'll clean that up with the other one and see if we can find out what they are. Oh, that's quite interesting. There's a base of a bolt. Well, no, I don't know what that's going to be. A broken flower pot. Ah, You've there had it a is. tube. I have a tube. Oh, that's interesting. It does a lot of ordnance a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. I say a tube. That's the second one I found. So it's not part of an engine. No, not that I recognise. Cool. Well, that means it's yeah not going to be a common thing off a boat then, hopefully. Yeah. I'll stick it in the craft. Put it in the craft. Oh, that's a nice big base. Always oh, interesting. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, it's a little creature. Let's try and free him. There you go. Little, little shrimpy. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. Medie possibly medieval, maybe Roman. Oh look, I just found a big old pot. That ah, could be really cool. That ah, looks really, really good. Oh wow, that is awesome. Bloody hell, I think I found something really cool, Steve. Check this out. Oh, I found a broken cord. Oh, I, need, I need my bucket. <laughs> Can you bring the bucket out, dear chap? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's definitely a cut down contendor. Oh, all that, oh, that lovely stuff. I might like make a little pile here and come back through with the bucket. Hopefully I don't forget where it is. <laughs> I 
Right, we need to defibrillator for a crab. Come on, mate. Oh, I think he's a little bit gone. He's not been dead long. You never know, he might be sleeping. <laughs> Turning the right way around. <laughs> That's what I like to see. A mud lover with the... Oh, you got a clay. What are you in? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to go first. <laughs> what to do with the drunken Stephen? That's a nice clay pipe. It is a nice clay pipe. Free pipe mold. Thank you very much. Upside lip. What do you I know out? what that is and I can't remember. Oh, well, you're no help, are you? We found one before, some sort of cooking pot. Off of a ship, I think. That's awesome. It's glazed inside, yeah, which suggests glazed. it's not um, it's not Roman. No, so no, it's, it's going to be... It's like green medieval glaze. Feel yeah. the weight of that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's medieval. Do you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's too big for a crucible. Plus it wouldn't be glazed. No, but, but no, yeah, it's, it's green glazed, so it's medieval. Nice. Tudor period, etc. This is why we like to come out here. Yes, we have all sorts of uh, ages. That little lip's quite interesting, isn't it? That, yeah. that should help us ID it. So we'll take that. And I have a little, uh, unfortunately broken cod, but... Ah, uh, that's a dead cod. It's all right, I can upcycle this. Did you find it floundering? Yes. <laughs> Bro, that's, a, that's, that's a cod joke. Very good. It was gasping for air. Medieval as well. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that one's sort of taking a back seat, but yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, like that. that's um, Jules to tell you what that is. That's called a uh, pitchick. Oh, what is it called? I don't know. Where's Jules when you need him? Jules, <laughs> Jules, let's get that. Look, we might as well be on the surface of the moon because no one can get out here. That's so true. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's quite nice. That is definitely medieval. Some nice bits and pieces. It is. Well, Steve might do some hover larking, which is a phrase that we've coined, which basically means Steve's going to go along the surface and see what he can see purely from the hovercraft. Hover larking? Yeah. Hover larking. Let's get to it. <laughs> if I find a good area, I'll come back to Simon because, for whatever reason, it's like when they find gold in these gold digging programs. All of the good stuff, all of the stuff seems to be collected in its own little areas. Absolutely. So yeah, Simon's just found up medieval and medieval in sort of this 20 foot area. So maybe there's more. So maybe there's more. But then they made less of it back then and some of it got recycled. The Victorians made tons and tons of the stuff. So the further you go back and not, not, not including Roman obviously, but they made less and they used what they Pipkin. could. Remembered Pipkin. it. Pipkin. Pipkin. I remembered it. Hold on, a Pipkin's got little feet. Has he got feet? I've got one in doors and no feet. I think that's just a cooking bowl. There might be a cooking bowl there. But we'll take it, show Jules and we'll we'll look. consult the book. Um, yeah, all good. I need to try and get out of this mud now. Oh. There we go, I can see another bit of stoneware that's broken over here. Did you not see that side? No, you haven't gone that far over yet, but... Alright, now, Simon's just found one of these, a Polonaris. I found another one. Simon's one has the handle missing. Oh. I have a handle. <laughs> I have no neck. Oh, so we can do a... Um... I think, we, yeah, we can do a... I don't know what's it called, I don't know, like a mend. A marriage, yes. Let's have a quick look around, see if the neck's laying around, but I doubt it. Like I said though, stoneware, it's out here. little pipe bowl there. Oh, it could be, I don't think it is Roman, but it's still a nice rim. 
It's a strange piece of pottery. Ooh, what is that? So Steve's found a bit of a pipe. He wants me to come and have a look at him extract it. Let's go have a look. He's lost it. He waited for me to come and they can't find it. There's your footprints. That's, is, that's not you there, is it? No. That's it, that's that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, almost. whoa, whoa. Nice, look at that. What I'm going to use is my little glass thing. Oh, do you know what that is? No. It's a sugar crusher. They're really oh, cool. Is it? Yeah, they, don't use that. That's like. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, it's getting longer. This is it. We're using a sugar crusher from Victorian times to excavate the clay pipe. Oh, there that's the, the end. end of it. That's cool. Hey! Ah, oh, look at that. It's like a, yeah, look at that. Beautiful, well done, Steve. Yes, quite some nice. Someone not to stamp on that. Well, I did well to not stamp on that, I think. There's a nice old big Charlotte. Oh, it's complete as well. That's lovely. Yeah, go out and that. Uh, my favourite pub I like to pop into is the Dock House. Oh, the old Dock House, yeah. The old dock House, yes. And uh, grab yourself a flask from the <laughs> dock, dock House. house. Beautiful. Oh, no, the, the lip's missing. That's all right, we can repair but that. I will keep that because it says Dock House. No idea where that is. We'll, we'll be able to tell you later. I want you to do a little bit of research. Nice. I'm guessing it's on the dock somewhere. That would be my guess too. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. Lovely pipe, shame it's broken. I'll take that anyway, though, it's just cool. And a bowl, plate. It's got a name on it. Oh, that's lovely. Albert Star. Oh, that's a boat. Sounds like it, Albert Star. Cool, take that. That could be a cool piece of history. Well, guys, look at that. Nice little blue bowl just sitting there lovely condition it's amazing it's been swirling around all these times and all it's got is a tiny little chip that's beautiful though definitely a top find of the day for me one of them excellent beautiful that's it wink well oh that's cool oh Unfortunately, Still. but yeah, no, it, it may be quite exciting. Is, we'll have a look at the name on it anyway and uh, maybe do a bit of research. Can you read it, what it says? or is it uh, London... Oh, huh? Giant... Giant L. Atkinson, London. Nice. Giant L. Atkinson, London. And you got yourself a pot there? I've got the same one you found. Wow, I just wanted to... Green pot. Oh, look, snap. Mine's bigger than yours. I'm just not just saying it, right? Mine is bigger than yours, Simon. <laughs> well, I found one just the same size as yours. So I've got one and a half. I mean, you could even put your one inside my one, look. 
<laughs> right, the, so this is our bucket of iron so far, going well. Right, I'm not too sure what that is. If I found that on the Thames, I'd say it'd be an Indian offering. Mm. Not Thames in London. It's, but, a dog, it's a dog bowl. Is it a dog bowl? No, I don't know. I, it's a shallow bowl. It's probably just a little bowl for herbs and stuff. We'll have to get that checked and verified. We'll take it. It's not too big. We don't mind that. Yep. Oh, nice free, big free parter. Yeah, nice black glass look. Applied lip. Oh. It, son. That's what we come here for. This is what I came here for. Absolutely. Right? This. There's a funny story about a cabinet I had. I had a few of these in there. Yes. Um, I don't like talking about it because it involves my children who are supposed to love them unreservedly. And does, it, does it make you emotional? Emotional? I don't think I talk to any of my children. <laughs> Go on in, quickly, what's the story? Uh, I did cabinet, and when me and Simon first started doing this, we had quite a few of this sort of thing to try to the door. And the Roman pot was in there, and a Roman glass style thing. This is a festival jug. Festival jug, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think, yeah, the list continues. Um, I heard a bang. And it, it was a bang that I heard from the garden, and I immediately <laughs> knew what it was. One of my children was decided to skateboard in the entrance hall, and then they went into the cupboard, pulled the, cu pulled the cabinet, come down, managed to get out of the way before it smashed on the floor. Blimey. And destroyed 2,000 years worth of history. Oh, killer. But still, we're, we're building the collection back. And we are building it back. We'll start with that. It's got some lovely iridescence on that as well, yeah, isn't that it? It's absolutely stunning. I need to have to search it and see if it's not. Let's ride. Don't forget your bottle. Alright, now we've got to clean it up. Right, well let's go back to Hopcraft HQ and see what we found. So here we are, Steve's enjoying a beer, I've had mine already. Um, my face feels really windswept and Salty and achy after being oh, out. An old sea dog, maybe. An old sea dog, yeah, get some more wrinkles. Yeah. But here behind me, we have our wonderful finds that we've had. I did up today. say at the start of the video, my favourite place because of a couple of reasons, and they're both there. 
Let's have a look. Well, look, we can barely feel the finds on the side of the hovercraft today. Loads of gear. Fantastic. Right, let's take a few, few of them. Right, I think we'll start with some early bits and bobs. We think this is probably medieval, yet to be verified, but yeah, nice little uh, shallow dish here. I think Steve found these. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I found these too, I think. We get confused because we pick things up and we can't remember who's, whose it was half the time, but I think, yeah, I think I found that. And this really interesting pot, which I think is amazing. It's really heavy. So obviously used for quite an industrial kind of purpose, or maybe it's a cooking pot, or a mixing pot. Don't know if it's Georgian or even goes back even further. It's so crude, look, you can see the actual fingerprints of the potter. Maybe it's done in the coil process, you know, they make, they make out of coils, didn't they? Yeah, I, just can't think what, I, I don't know what they're for, because we found one before. And well, was... yeah, I thought that was a intentional ridge there, but I think that's just a broken, broken rim. But um, yeah, that's uh, an amazing thing to research and a beautiful pot. And I don't think it's a flower pot, so, because, <laughs> It's glazed on the inside, which means it probably was used for the sauce or something so that they wouldn't absorb into the terracotta. So yeah, really cool, really happy with that. Well... <laughs> was that you? Jet wash? <laughs> That's what you, you always blame on the jet wash. I just turned it off because it was dripping, driving me mad. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Steve, well let's talk about the elephant in the room. Be careful, I know you've had a drink, so you want to be, uh, I don't want to smash in your hands, but look at the iridescence look on at that. This, look. Oh. That's, that's what, and look at the lip, look. I mean, how crude is that? That's beautiful, that's what 200 years and the What's rest. That? 1730, 1740s, transitional matter. Yeah, 1950, so 250 years that's been in the Thames or somewhere, but look at those lovely swirls, look where the glass makers made that, and then it's leached out onto the surface all those years. and. Yeah, this is a squat. We think it's a squat. We're pretty sure Transi it's a squat. Yeah, transitional. transitional mallet bottle. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And Steve spotted that. Yeah, so well done. On the shelf. I'm oh, you can do it now. Yeah. Oh, blimey. No hanging about. Yeah, he wants to put it straight onto the shelf, the Hall of Fame in Hovercraft HQ when the, be the beetle's still in the same condition it was last time. So I won't bother giving you an update on that. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. And it's got um, it's got a brother as well that we found a few years ago over there. Look, um, we're just giving it a little clean. So that's quite like that one's a bit later there, sort of eighteen ten maybe. Right. See the lip on the top. Oh yeah. It's so, still um, free blowing, and that one's the same, eighteen hundreds, eighteen ten. And there it goes. That looks pucker though, doesn't it? Sitting on there like that. Do you know? Well, well, when I move and I get my cabinet back, I'm putting it in the cabinet. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. Right, so we've got a few more. We just added these two because we just realised we washed them up and not actually put them on here, but I'm not sure what this thing is. Any guesses? I mean, we'll find you out. But sit on it, would you? We wouldn't sit on it, no. No, if you de definitely don't want to leave it on the seat when you're going to sit down because it might um, it might go somewhere where you don't want it to. But it might be, I'm thinking it might be something to do with cheese. I can't think of, I've seen these before, but they just, they don't come up very often. It's not the sort of thing you find very regularly, but... Um, it's either that or it's got some horrible growth. <laughs> oh, it's an excited piece of pottery. Yeah, I've got these little um, pots here. Unfortunately, there's no lids today, but these these would have had things like toothpaste or anchovy paste or bear's grease. Which I yeah, it's bear's grease. Bear's grease. It's a grease. It's a grease that you use to uh, help your hair grow back. Apparently. Oh, was it? Yeah. I was just imagine you greasing your bear with it. I just, <laughs> I, I just didn't like? know why the Victorians were so like. I don't know. <laughs> Enthusiastic with greasing bears. Yeah, because everyone knows all the Victorians had a pet bear, right? Well, they did actually, yeah, quite a few of them did. There's some cages in there. I've worked on some houses in Blackheath, but they've got bear cages in the garden. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not sure what that is. Lovely uh, big jar there, big jam jar. And not the most of interesting things to look at, but it's still quite crude and chunky and it's pretty much perfect. Nice few air bubbles in there as well. So, I've sort of got a love of these, uh, these big old jars. Moving on nicely to these Apollinaris German water bottles, stoneware. This one does have the handle missing, and this one's got the nick missing, so they make a right nice old pair. But what I think I'm gonna do is wait until I find a top for this and give it a repair. So that's not gonna happen just now, but I'll keep my eye out for a, for a neck and also keep my eye out for a handle for this one, and then uh, I'll be able to repair it. But interestingly, this one's got a number 46 on, and this one has got a number 50, 
one number number 51 so these are probably different sizes or come from different natural sources maybe where the water comes from or maybe they're just different makers but or different sizes I'm not really sure but you can see there that that's got um, a name on it George Cruz Burr um, anyway I'll probably better find out a bit about him I know he's quite a common maker because I recognize that um, well it looks like a number four I think he's actually a, a stylized ship with an anchor below, below it so look, and it's got their Apollinaris um, around it which I think means water or at least it's contained water uh, and this one's got uh, seltzers, which again means water in German, I believe. Um, so yeah, going on to another great find that Steve had. Steve, what do you know about this? Have you found anything <coughs> else about it yet? Well, I consulted Google. It's a pub flask, which I absolutely love as well. I haven't found one in a while. And it says Dock House on it. Yeah, we'll um, that. Right, a quick Google. The Dock House was a Dock House Tavim which was in East India Dock in London. Nice. It was knocked down in 1956, I believe, so they could put the Blackwall Tunnel through. Wow. Oh. So every time I drive through the Blackwall Tunnel <laughs> now, I will think to myself... Well, you're saying they knocked down the Duck House? And, and yeah, they knocked down the Duck, duck house, house for this tunnel. Yeah, cool. Well, that's a... Yeah, so basically well, there's I no... I just think I've got one of these flasks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're always great to find because they do have some lovely... Yeah, uh, every pub flask that you find. I mean, we've got a few of them that we've found yeah. over the years. Yeah, they, they've all got the name of the pub on there, so it's... It's, it's so, yeah, social it history. Locks it, social history locks it to one specific place uh -huh. in the world. Brilliant. Um, and I have found this one, which we can now read as saying Beatty and Co., which is a reasonably common one, but it's got the address there, 216 Kings Lane Road. Um, not sure if that's east or west or south, but um, yeah, buying. Or selling of this bottle is illegal. So you're supposed to return this, but obviously some kid decided he wanted the marble and needs. smashed it. <laughs> uh, moving on to some lovely clay pipes. Do you know what? We haven't actually found a good length in a while of clay pipes. We've found some pipes, but there's some nice length there, Steve, isn't there? There is, there is a good bit of length there, yes. <laughs> obviously that one's broken, but uh, yeah, Steve done well finding these two complete, so kudos to him. We also have a little sugar crusher. Would have had a, probably a serrated bit at the top there to crush off your your um sugar and this would have probably compounded it i think that's how it works anyway but that's a it's a great find. that you didn't know what you'd found did you steve but uh well no also right if you notice in the video this was excellent for digging out clay pipes <laughs> is that you gonna say that now and now with your as your new clay pipe restriction yeah, I might actually, yeah no i think i will keep it with me yeah yeah because you can gently sort of run it along the stem mm. like so caress it caress the stem yes <laughs> good job right so now we've got some other bit of metal work this is obviously a piece of World War II anti-aircraft shell. Um, we find quite a few of these, but still nice to find. And sometimes they do have different makers and stuff on there. But also we've got these, which could relate to World War II or, or not. We just don't know what these are. So if anybody knows, I mean, we might try and clean up a bit and see if there's any maker's yeah, mark or whatever. Or brass, because they've gone, started to go green, haven't they? So. I think you're right. Yeah, I think they're probably copper. But yeah, they've got a little hole there. They're both the same, and we found a third one, but by that time we've thought, well, no point, no point taking them all because they're, I don't know, maybe they're off a piece of machinery or something, but we took a few back just to see if we could work out what they are, but we don't know, so if anybody knows what these are, and they're pretty hard to Google, because all they are is a copper rod, um, no defining features really, so if you know, comment below. Look at the rope, isn't it? See if you've got the rope missing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't think of anything what it could be. Yeah, strange little rods. Um, this which we hoped would be off a boat or a ship, because it's got such a glorious name of Albert Starr. It is in fact um, a maker of a potter. Well, it's Royal Albert, um, Royal Albert, so Prince Albert, mm -hmm. Royal Albert Ware. It's not a star wear apparently. Oh right, yeah, there's uh, also a little impressed thing there which I haven't seen before. So yeah, pretty nice maker, and either way, do you know what? It's a beautiful design, look at that. I can imagine that being on a ship of the line. Maybe it even was. Uh, finally, a few pieces. You've got a piece of mockaware there, which has got a beautiful uh, pattern. They used to put wet slip together and used to create this crazy like effect that looked like trees. So that's really beautiful to find. And finally, just a piece of Chinese imported plate. So yeah, what a day, what a day, what a day. What a fantastic first day back on our new, on our new stretch. Well, a new stretch revisited. So we're gonna go out and do this plenty more times. Uh, so there we go, mud lovers. Hope you enjoyed that. Steve's going to get uh, drunk because he's so happy because he's found his mallet bottle. I won't be um, drunk. And he might even get it repaired. 
because there's a bit of a hole in it. There was Don't a hole. Don't worry about the hole. Right, there's a teeny, teeny also hole. Also available on a website we haven't actually got. Mugs worth of beers. <laughs> T-shirts. Yeah, you have to sort of save about that if you want to want to join our hovercraft history hunting crew uh, apparel. Um, but yeah, um, they are available on, the on, on request. Maybe I'll put some up on the, uh, on the, the Etsy store. Teletubbies symbol on there, according to my daughter. sir. <laughs> you could. Yeah, Teletubbies. We'll <laughs> go through the minds of kids, eh? Yeah. Right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Comment. Thumbs up, mate. If you'd be so kind to. Yeah, let us know what you think, and we'll see you on the next mud venture. Bye. See you later, mud lovers. And do peace out. Peace out. <laughs> the forgotten bottle.